basic concepts of differential equations. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the basic concepts of differential equations. Introduction to Basic Concepts of Differential Equations Hello, friends. I am glad to see you all. We are going to talk about something delicious now. Do you all like pie? Oh, it is not the mathematical pie. I am talking about the delicious pie. My favorite is the apple pie. Usually everyone likes to have it hot, but I like it when it is super cold. Weird, right? Believe me, it tastes so good. You should try it. But, my mom always serves it hot. So I wait till it gets cold. I begin to eat while everyone has already finished their part of pie. One day I wondered, how long does it take for my pie to cool down? And do you know how I found it? I framed its temperature into a differential equation and solved it to find the time where capital T is the temperature of pie and small t is the room temperature and k gives the time taken to cool down. Interesting, right? Likewise differential equations have many applications in almost all fields. As a startup, today we are going to learn the basic concepts of differential equations. In the previous classes, we discussed how to differentiate a given function f with respect to an independent variable. That is, how to find f dash of x for a given function f at each x in its domain of definition. Further, we also learned in integral calculus how to find a function f whose derivative is the function g. It can be formulated as for a given function g, find a function f such that dy by dx is equal to g of x, where y is equal to f of x. Let us name it as equation a. An equation of this form is known as a differential equation. Today, let us study some basic concepts related to differential equation and how to find the order and degree of a differential equation. First, let us see a few basic concepts. We are already familiar with the equations of the types displayed on the screen. Let us name them 1, 2, and 3. Now, let us consider the equation x into dy by dx plus y is equal to 0 and name it as equation 4. We see that equations 1, 2 and 3 involve independent and dependent variables only. But equation 4 involves variables as well as derivative of the dependent variable y with respect to the independent variable x. Such an equation is called a differential equation. A differential equation involving derivatives of the dependent variable with respect to only one independent variable is called an ordinary differential equation. Whereas, differential equations involving derivatives with respect to more than one independent variable are called partial differential equations. Note that we shall prefer to use the displayed notations for derivatives. For derivatives of higher order, it will be inconvenient to use many dashes as super suffix therefore, we use the notation yn for nth order derivative, d power n by dx the whole power n. Next let us learn the definition of order of a differential equation. The order of a differential equation is defined as the order of the highest order derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable involved in the given differential equation. For example, take a look at the differential equations displayed on the screen. The equations 6, 7, and 8 involve the highest derivative of first, second, and third orders respectively. Therefore, the order of these equations are 1, 2, and 3 respectively. Next, let us get to know about the degree of a differential equation. To study the degree of a differential equation, the key point is that the differential equation must be a polynomial equation in derivatives. Consider the differential equations 9, 10, and 11. We observe that equations 9 and 10 are polynomial equations in y dash, y double dash, and y triple dash. So, the degree of such differential equations can be defined. 
but equation 11, is not a polynomial equation, in y dash, and degree of such a differential equation, cannot be defined. Hence, only when a polynomial equation, is in derivatives, we mean the highest power of, the highest order derivative, involved in the given differential equation, as the degree of a, differential equation. In view of the definition, we may observe that, differential equations, 6, 7, 8, and 9, each are of degree 1, and equation 10 is of degree 2, while the degree of, differential equation 11, is not defined. Note that, order and degree of differential equation, are always positive integers. Ok, let us now solve, a few problems of finding, the order and degree of, differential equation for, better understanding. Problems to find the order and degree of differential equation. The first problem is to find the order and degree, of each of the given differential equations. Consider the first, differential equation. We have to find, the order first, to find the degree. In the given equation, the highest order derivative, present in the differential equation, is dy by dx. So its order is 1. Next, let us find, the degree of the, differential equation. The given polynomial equation, is in y dash, and the highest power raised to, dy by dx is 1, so its degree is 1. For the second differential equation, the highest order derivative present is, d square y by dx square. Therefore, its order is 2, and the given polynomial equation, has the derivatives both, d square y by dx square, and dy by dx. Where, the highest power raised to, the higher order derivative, d square y by dx square is 1, so its degree is 1. Now consider the, third differential equation. The highest order derivative, present is y triple dash. So, the order of the, differential equation is 3. The given differential equation, is not a polynomial equation, in its derivatives, and therefore its degree is, not defined. Now, take a look at the second problem, displayed on the screen. Let us rewrite, the given equation by, taking the sine and curse term, to left side and equate it, to zero. The highest order derivative, present in the differential equation, is d square y by dx square. Therefore, the order of the, differential equation is 2. Then to find the degree, in the given polynomial equation, the only derivative is, d square y by dx square, and the power raised to it, is 1. Therefore, the degree of the, differential equation is 1. Ok, let us look at the last problem of, finding the degree of the, given polynomial. From the given differential equation, it is clear that, it is not a polynomial equation, in its derivatives. Therefore, the degree of the, differential equation is, not defined. Conclusion That's all, for today friends. Hope you all understood, the basic concepts of, differential equations. An in-depth study of, differential equations has assumed, prime importance in all, modern scientific investigations. The solutions of, these differential equations are, very important. So, let us discuss, how to find their solutions, in the upcoming session. Ok, guys. Let me now recall, what we have learned, in today's class. Summary. In today's class, we have learned, some basic concepts, related to differential equation, and how to find the order, and degree of a, differential equation. A differential equation, involving derivatives of, the dependent variable, with respect to, only one independent variable, is called an ordinary, differential equation. Whereas, differential equations, involving derivatives, with respect to, more than one independent variable, are called partial, differential equations. The order of a, differential equation is, defined as the order of, the highest order, derivative of the dependent variable, with respect to the, independent variable, involved in the, given differential equation. The degree of the, differential equation is represented by, the power of the, highest order derivative in the, given differential equation. The differential equation must be, a polynomial equation, in derivatives for the, degree to be defined.